everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today for another video. Um, it's been a while since I've done a swipe and stretch with Australian Floetrol, so that's what I'm going to do today. And I'm using some unusual colors. I'm going to be using this color right here. It is Burnt Sienna. Now, bear with me because I did a test and it turned out beautiful, the color combination. This is Crimson Red. And then I've got a little bit of Iridescent Gold and some Iridescent Pearl. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the pearl or not. So, when I was looking at colors, I put in some aqua as well. I put in some different colors, and this is, I, I love the way this one turned out. So, that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to be using a black base right here, and then black Australian flow trawl, flow trawl <laughs> to swipe and then stretch it out. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flood my base, and I don't really need to flood the entire thing just yet because once I put some paint, the um, paints down to swipe, then I'll need to stretch it again. So, I just wanna kinda give myself a little base here. There we go. And I can tell I'm gonna need to pop these air bubbles. There are a bunch. And also, with the dark base, you can always go ahead and paint your sides just to make sure you have full coverage. I didn't do it, I decided not to do it, but you know, I may regret that on the back end, <laughs> but that's okay. You can always fix them. You can, you can. Sometimes I'm just hard-headed and I get anxious, so I just, I just do it. Let's go back this way. I said, I don't need a ton of paint, and I've got something in my paint. Where did it go? Moved all the way down here. There we go. Probably gonna end up having a torch multiple times. I just made this paint, this black. My color's already had made up. There we go. Okay. Now, since I'm gonna stretch, I don't wanna do it real close to the edge or it'll all fall off. So I'm gonna kind of start in the middle. Let's see. Now, I don't need a ton of paint. That's actually a little too much, but that's okay. Put that over there. There we go. There we go. Hit the red. All right, so here is the tester board that I did. And I tried with, now they're all wonky now because I've been trying, um, I've been using <laughs> deep petals and then try. This green was actually, it has satin enamels in it, so I didn't know if I'd get any different reaction, but I just wanted to try it. Didn't like the green, but I love this right here. This right here is the colors that I'm using. So, or are the colors that I'm using. Not sure if I want the iridescent pearl in there. I don't think so. I just want this to be, I just want this to be really rich. And I dropped the paint in there. Okay. Got me a little piece of cardboard and I'm going to put my Aussie flow trowel down there. It's just black with Australian flow trowel. Tried it with a white too. Didn't like it. Skim in the top. Okay. I think that'll look pretty cool with that line. I like that. Clean off my palette knife. So pretty. It's going to be really pretty stretched. Let's see. I'm going to leave a little bit. I think it's pretty when you've got a combination of cells and some linear paint. Um, and I think I'm gonna go this way. Okay. I don't know if you could tell the color combinations. It really is super pretty. 
You can definitely tell over here, I put the gold and I swipe from the gold. This side, I swipe from the red side. Definitely tell the difference. Okay. I'm gonna come right up here. I am gonna go off with that one. A bit of this burnt sienna and crimson red. Told you it was a very unique color combination, but I thought it looked pretty. It's very rich, very, very rich. It's gonna dry darker, of course. There we go. Super cool. I'm loving the lines. That should be pushed off. But... All right, I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna go ahead and add some paint on the sides here so that it'll move better. I'm gonna pop the air bubbles and what I just put down. There we go. We are going to go this way. Just stretching them out. I want to paint just a little bit. take some of this gold and come on up with it and then I'm gonna add a little gold down here see if I can get this to mm. let me think I love it. I'm going to extend this line, fix my sides, and I will bring you down for a close-up. Okay, here is the overall piece. I think it turned out absolutely gorgeous. Take you so you can see the details. I love the color combination of the gold, burnt sienna, and the crimson red. This is probably my favorite part. I just love the richness right here. This side, if you remember, I swipe from the gold, swipe from the gold, over, and then this one, I swipe the red and over. Gave it a lot of interest. And then here in the middle, I just thought it needed a little extra, so made the little card cue. I'm probably going to come in and fill a little bit in with black right there once it dries. But the cells and the colors, I just love. I know it's gonna dry darker, but I think with some varnish, it's gonna be really stunning. And that fine line of gold against that burnt sienna. And then it goes into the red. It's really pretty with the pops of color. Like here's some block of red. Here's some burnt sienna, red, and it goes into the burnt sienna. Really love the movement of this piece. 
I would probably hang it this way with the negative space at the top. But yeah, I think the overall piece turned out really pretty. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. And as always, you have a great day. Until next time, bye.